All right, I've finished rebuilding the, the old piston pump and I've got it hooked to a bladder tank and it's also plumbed to my rain catchment system um, outside. So I'm able to take my rain water, boost it up, actually boosted it up to 90 PSI. Um, just I want to see where the motor would stall out or the belt would slip and you know much higher than I'd ever need it to be. So pumped it up to 90 and uh, so again the, it, the efficiency of a piston pump when it comes to pumping water is like impossible to beat. Um, the um, what I mean by efficiency is that the power required to produce the amount of pressure is um, greatly reduced in using a piston pump. So it's very efficient when it comes to doing this with solar. So this again is where old technology uh, meets new. On top we have a 24 volt uh, motor and uh, below we have an old piston pump. So and the cool thing is it's fully rebuildable. So. piston pump running and we're taking that rainwater and boosting it up in the uh, again I don't I'm bypassing the pressure switch now so it's uh, and I don't have any solar or anything hooked to this just took two car batteries just to test it out to, to prove that she's making pressure and that pressure switch should click here shortly there she goes she just clicked and I'm just shooting on beyond it Typically, the pump would have already shut off. I'm just going to run until she stalls. Okay, I'll show you what she's capable of doing. Um, I did actually uh, run it till she uh, blew off the pop-off valves, the pressure relief valves. So I'm, I'm running it beyond what it, you know, typically should would ever run at. But we can see the pressures. It'll stall out here in a bit. Not hurting anything. pump it up yeah there's 90 psi and then the pressure relief valve that blew off so we'll stop it there so that's kind of kind of cool uh the prv is working i'm at 90 psi it started opening up at uh, 75 so i was just testing out the prv it's backing off because we're leaking so anyway very happy with the with the pump and uh so we'll be back with some more testing. She goes, pumping pretty good. The, the little bladder tank on top is just to smooth out the pump so it doesn't make the pressure switch bounce and it performs a lot better with that little um, bladder tank on there. So, been adjusting a nut in here to keep it. So a little uh, packing nut and it's doing really good right now. So not leaking, that's something you adjust on the fly. So anyway, pump's rebuilt. Pumps pumping like crazy. Pumps about five gallons a minute. Very efficient use of electricity, of solar power, and a piston pump. The Sunforce, it's the Dankoff Sunforce pump. If you need more information about it, go to ch check us out, practicalpreppers.com, under water solutions. And you'll find all the ty different types of pumps and uh, solutions for your water needs, for your homestead, for your retreat what have you so uh anyway she's just pumping away and doing what she's supposed to do um, these can pump up to nine gallons a minute they can do solar direct drive you don't have to do battery too and they'll lift uh, about 230 feet as soon as the sun hits the panel this baby's moving water if you have a shallow source of water really hard to beat so let's, this one's run off of 24 volts i've kind of Kind of come to like 24 volt systems in terms of overall balance, in terms of efficiency, voltage drop, issues in wires, less cost of batteries. Just really like 24 volt water pumping systems. It seem to be the sweet spot that I have found for pumping water. Okay, we'll be adding to this video later on, adding filtration. But right now, I just wanted to see pumps rebuilt, pumping water like crazy. Engineer 775 signing off.